Okay, so what we're trying to find out is which of the center couplings, sometimes called the center differential, can transfer the most torque to the rear wheels. Manuals are true uh, torque split, right? Because there actually is a differential inside the center. Automatic transmissions, they are front bias. They're front with optional drive to the rear. Blueberry has the VTD center, right? So the VTD does actually have differential gears in it as well. The difference is that the MPT that's in there is much smaller than the one in the the one that's only an MPT because it's got to fit in the same physical space. So it's got to have gears and an MPT in the space of just the MPT. So that made me concerned that that MPT might not be able to transfer as much. Maybe it's a higher friction coefficient. Maybe it's different types of plates. Who knows? The only way to really know is to test it. So the problem is there's, there's also an MPT inside that VTD. So if you didn't have that MPT working with, it, with that center differential unlocked, the, MP, the VTD should essentially act like an open diff. And so once that you lift a front, we, once you lose traction to the front, you should not be able to go anywhere. Yeah. So that's a bit of a con, right? But it, but the, the good thing about having those gears is that even if you blow out your MPT, as long as you've got traction to all the wheels, you've got all wheel drive still. Whereas with this, if you blow out the MPT, you've only got front wheel drive. So what we are going to do is we're going to drive up that ramp with only one wheel on the ramp, one of the front wheels on the ramp. So that essentially there is no power to the fronts. And so the essentially what we're really testing is when there's a no, no load on the front, how much traction can you transfer to the rear. Because Granny has the torque locker, this is really easy for her. The front's a little heavier on these cars, so the front wants to kind of stay down, and the back left rear wheel is going to want to lift up on us, which means you're going to lose, if you've got an open differential, we're not going to get any drive to the rear either. So we've got a big old metal bar we're going to stick in the hitch to use to keep the rear wheels on the ground to see if it has, actually has traction to the rear, if it can transfer more power to those rears. So we're hoping, we think, we saw some tantalizing results in a previous test that that might be able to transfer more to the rear. All right, well you made it part way up. Let's see if Granny can do it. Yeah, it's just about the same as what Blueberry did. There, there's of course a few things that kind of confound the results. One being that Granny has definitely got to be heavier, right? Um, with all the bullshit on her. Um, and also the bigger tire size, right? So it, for a given incline, Granny's going to need more torque at the center to get up because she has a little bit of a loss of reduction by the tire. I would like to, I want to make sure we can see how this is. <laughs> So while attempting to get a better shot of the MPT test on Granny, we ironically forgot to hit record on the camera. We will now attempt to recreate the results using crude CGI. Notice that Granny did not make it up as far as it did on the previous test. This was likely due to the added leverage from the steel bar causing the front passenger wheel to lift sooner than it did before. Oh, that test is done. Getting way out of here. Am I good? Are you locked up? Yeah. Let's so try to unlock first. Unlocked. Okay. It's actually it's an auto. Okay, you spin it up front. Oh, 
are. You have a lot of authority over that car's position. I suppose I do. I wonder if I can pull. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that's the power of levers. That's about perfectly balanced, isn't it? Well, plus the leverage. Yeah, I can bounce it from one tire to the other. Yeah, it's not nothing. It's like a good little one arm pull up. It's yeah. white. Less than a pull up. Back that out there and try the white one. how worn out each of their clutch backs are, or why so close to my face. Well, well, because of the train right there. Oh, you want to hear me over the train. I don't know what else to say. The VTD seems better. This is a very small sample size. We probably, we know only slightly more than we did before. But it seems that the VTD is better. So what we've proven is that you don't need to buy a torque locker when you just have a buddy and a big ass piece of metal. Also take the cyclist off. Cyclist okay. It happened again. No great go. Yeah, a little bit. Jesus. Ah, maybe as far as Blue River, though. A little further. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Further than that Jeep, too. Was it? Yeah. Hey. I don't think I'm going to make it the rest of the way, though. I don't think so. I'm probably just going to back on down. I back down real carefully. <laughs> 